Vanuatu Island, the Maldives. In the Maldives, there is an island called Wadu, which attracts tourists by an interesting feature. At night, it seems that the stars in the sky also plunge into the blue of the sea. Color waves appear on the coastline, creating a magical, fabulous atmosphere. This is due to the fact that a unique kind of phytoplankton glows on the sand and waves. These are organisms endowed with bioluminescence. The plankton illumination has a different intensity of radiance in different periods. The beach shines most brightly during plankton reproduction. They say the glow of the shores of the island can be seen even from the space. However, bathing during the glow is not recommended. This is at least unpleasant and as a maximum it is even unsafe. Plankton bites on sensitive skin can leave traces and even cause allergies. Torowell, Oregon. At the edge of the Oregon coast is what appears to be a gaping funnel that looks like it never fills up, despite the continuous flow of water flowing into it. But the Torowell, as is known, is not bottomless, however, it is very dangerous. This is how the well is described by the American travel online magazine Atlas Obscura. In addition to the gaping funnel, the Torowell has other names, the drain pipe of the Pacific Ocean and even the gateway to hell and the path to the unknown. And of course, that this place is known as the must-see for any photographer looking for thrills, but at the same time, this place will swallow you whole if you get too close. The Torwell is an inconspicuous depression with a diameter of no more than 5 meters of the surface of Cape Perpetua. This is a rocky shore washed by the waters of the Pacific Ocean, but an hour before high tide, a whole natural show begins, the brightest of which occurs in a well during a storm or high tide and low tide. The water rushes into the depth of the funnel and then breaks out, it reaches up to 6 meters in height and then falls back into the well. Sometimes it just foams and flows into a bottomless vent, dissolving into its infinity. Paradise Gate, China. An impressive natural phenomenon is observed at the top of Tianmen Mountain in Hainan Province. For hundreds of years, erosion of soil and water slowly formed an arch of 30 meters high in the rocky surface of the mountain. However, according to Chinese folklore, a piece of the mountain fell off in 263 and created a huge cavity. The arch of Mount Tianmen, known as the Paradise Gate or the Heavenly Gate, is the highest known example of this natural phenomena on the planet. Located at at an altitude of 1519 meters above sea level. To get to the top of the mountain, you can use the cable car or drive along a very windy road with 99 sharp turns. The road is called the 99 Turns Road. Part of the route you need to walk, climb 99 steps before reaching the arch, which is often surrounded in clouds. The number of steps and turns is not accidental. In Taoism, the number 9 represents the Emperor, also known as the Son of Heaven. Also the Chinese Taoist philosophy, this figure is considered the highest and the lost that a person can understand and accept. Jacob's Well, Texas The Well of Wimberley, Texas got its name under the influence of biblical stories. The water in the well is so transparent that when you jump into it, it feels like you are jumping into an empty space. The depth of the well is about 10 meters. The place, though beautiful, is considered one of the most dangerous in the world. At its bottom, there are branches that have not been fully studied and therefore it's not recommended to study its depths independently. Through the well, you can get into several caves, uh, there are four of them in total. The upper one is the most visited, it carries a minimum of danger, there is enough light here and there are algae and fishermen. The next cave goes deeper by more than 20 meters, you can get there only through a small entrance. It is harder to get to the third and fourth caves and they are more dangerous, you should not go there without special training. Unfortunately, attempts to study these caves did not always end well. Like Louise, Canada. Located in Banff National Park, it is spread out at an altitude of 1646 meters and measures half a kilometer wide and almost two kilometers long. The lake was previously called emerald due to its color. It has such a color because of the rock that was dissolved by glaciers and fell from the mountains into the lake. The current name it got after Louise, the daughter of the Queen of England, Victoria. The lake was discovered in 1882 when Tom Wilson, one of the specialists in the construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway heard a noise in the distance. The Indian who was next to him at that moment explained that the noise was coming from a huge white mountain that towered over a lake with small fishermen. Wilson was interested in this place and he went there the next day where he found a lake which he later recalled. For a while we sat and were silent, unable to tear our eyes away from the brilliant beauty of the landscape that unfolded by the sparkling glacier. 
Now, the lake is popular among tourists also due to the large number of other small lakes nearby as well as waterfalls. There are hotels, campsites and tourist bases here. Lake Brace, Italy A lake of the same incredible beauty as Louis is only closer in Italy at the foot of the majestic rock Grotta del Bacco. It is located at an altitude of 1496 meters above sea level. Its depth is 36 meters. The history of its appearance is intertwined with myths and legends. Once upon a time, people lived in Brace Valley who guarded the mountain gold. One day, shepherds came to their territory who, having discovered a large amount of gold, began to envy and decided to get more valuable metal, which was presented by the locals. In order to save their treasures, the villagers excavated underground springs, as a result of which the valley was flooded, and the brilliance of the lake is nothing but the brilliance of gold. Canopy Bridges, Borneo The task of suspension bridges is to transport people from one end to the other, and there is quite famous one in the island of Borneo, which is owned by Indonesia, Brunei and Malaysia. Canopy Bridge performs not only its practical function, but also also aesthetic and it is a local landmark. There is also an observation deck in the park. The length of the bridges is 300 meters, and the maximum height is 40 meters. Despite the fact that at the entrance to the park you'll find a sign not with the most positive message, which reads, going further is your personal risk. Suspension bridges are quite safe. Waitomo Caves, New Zealand Firefly Caves are also located here. All of them are included in the list of 101 must-see attractions of New Zealand, and it occupies the 14th place there. Swimming under thousands of fireflies, it seems that you have found the starry sky in the cave. Once upon a time, the ocean dominated this place. Gradually, the water left and left bizarre limestone growths. Thanks to this, the caves were formed. According to some scientists, the fireflies in the cave glow from hunger, and the stronger this hunger, the the more they glow. Flathead Lake, the USA. This large freshwater lake is one of the cleanest lakes in the world and is located in Montana. The water is so clear that it seems as if the lake is shallow, but in fact its depths can reach 113 meters. The lake is popular among anglers, as trout and perch are always clearly visible here. Wild animals live on the territory of the lake, sheep and deer, as well as bald eagle, which is a symbol of America. But of course you want to hear the legend about the name of the lake. Once upon a time, peoples who did not understand each other well lived on the territory of the lake. One day, pale-faced traders appeared there who learned that Indians called the people of the neighboring tribe sharp-headed. From early childhood, they wore narrow caps, the wearing of which subsequently deformed their hats and the skull became sharp. Against the background of the sharp hats, other people called themselves flat hats. Merchants without much of a research decided to name the lake that way. Grand Canyon, the USA The Grand Canyon is one of the natural wonders of the world. Its length is 446 kilometers. It is clearly visible from orbit with the naked eye. The Habasupoi tribe of North American Indians lives on its territory to this day, whose names translates as people of blue-green water. The canyon itself began its formation five to six million years ago. People have been living here for about 3,000 years. The local views have hardly changed since then. This means that visitors to the Grand Canyon can observe the same views. Looking at it is a truly life-changing experience experience.